During a recent art event in Oakland, California, passerbys got more than they bargained for. When viewing a mural through an app on their smartphone, the dinosaur came to life and ran away. The project was part of a demo by Artivive, a company that offers an augmented reality app for artists to give their traditional artwork a digital life. We have artists all over the world in more than 92 countries, which has been awesome. And their reaction is actually mind blown um, because we are the first platform for augmented reality in which they can easily create content. Artists use Art Divide Bridge, the firm's software, to upload an image of their artwork. They can then add simple digital layers at various levels of transparency or opt for a more sophisticated version that guides them through more advanced animation. Once the art has the new digital layer, anyone with a smartphone or a tablet can view the artwork in augmented reality via the app. And Art Divide is not just for modern artwork. The company has worked with museums to add digital layers to several classical pieces. Um, they sell much more tickets to um, Artivive and because you know people have this new experience and they also reach a new target audience which is millennials and people who already have their smartphone in their hands. But what about copyright issues? And would classical painters approve of these new augmented reality digital layers on their work? The copyright issues are still to be found out because the question is who owns the digital layer and the digital space over that painting. While the great masters cannot weigh in, there is no doubt that augmented reality is changing the way people experience art today. Dina Mitchell for VOA News, Oakland, California.